Hello everyone. I am Dr. Soundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to deliver my lecture on the topic Transaction Marketing versus Relationship Marketing. These are all a couple of details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video useful to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you will get the notifications of my future videos. Transaction Marketing versus Relationship Marketing The fundamental difference between the two types of marketing is that Transaction Marketing tends to focus on the outcome and value distribution surrounding the product while Relationship Marketing tends to focus on service processes and value creation. Therefore, we can understand the fact that Transaction Marketing which is a traditional marketing that tends to focus on the final outcome of the business transactions and also value distribution surrounding the product. Whereas if you look at the main focus of the modern relationship marketing, it is on the service processes through which a company could create value for the buyers. This particular point suggests that Transaction marketing may be more appropriate for product based industries such as fast moving consumer goods industries that's what shortly known as FMCG industry where a lesser amount of service is usually involved in the differentiation process as compared with firms in the industrial or service markets. Obviously comparing the industrial and service markets the service to be offered by the marketers and business enterprises when they manufacture and sell FMCGs it is very very less. But when we take the industrial and service markets the success of those markets for a company greatly depends upon the quality of the service it offers in order to create value for the customers through the market offerings. There are 8 dimensions that distinguish Transaction and Relationship Marketing according to Grow Rules. Let's first discuss four dimensions in this slide. The first dimension is time perspective. With regard to transaction marketing, it is short term focus. Once the transaction is over between the seller and buyer, it comes to an end. There is no need for any follow up with regard to transaction marketing because when the transaction is over, the entire job between the two parties comes to an end. Whereas with regard to relationship marketing, it's a long term focus. Perhaps majority of the services offered by the sellers of market offerings start only after the product or the market offer is sold to a customer. The second dimension of difference is dominating marketing function. In transaction marketing, marketing mixes everything. The construction of the four P's in the name of marketing mix is everything. Whereas when we take relationship marketing, it speaks about interactive marketing. However, the interactive marketing between the buyers and sellers is greatly supported by the marketing mix activities. The third dimension of difference is price elasticity. Customers tend to be more sensitive to price in the case of transaction marketing. In FMCG market, the success of every product is greatly influenced by the price at which it is offered to the customers. Therefore, customers tend to be more and more sensitive to price of the market offers which they buy with regard to transaction marketing. Whereas in relationship marketing, customers tend to be less sensitive to price. They look for the quality of the product. And moreover, the quality of the service, the concern the marketers have for the customers is given more priority. If the customers perceive that their interest is fully taken care by the marketers, the marketers have greater concern for them. Definitely, the customers come back to the same marketers to buy the products offered by the marketers. The fourth dimension is measurement of customer satisfaction with regard to transaction marketing quality of output that's nothing but technical quality of the output it becomes dominating whereas 
in relationship marketing how customer satisfaction is measured it is measured based on quality of interactions not just based on the product what the customer buys it's based on the interactions between the two parties how the customers are received how they have been enlightened about the products and services how they are facilitated in the purchase place to choose the most appropriate solution for their problem it all comes to influence the satisfaction of the customers with regard to relationship marketing the remaining four dimensions we are going to discuss in this slide the fifth one is about customer information system in transaction marketing monitoring market share this is called indirect approach if the market share for a particular product is high and definitely we understand that the product is successful it has been well accepted by the customers whereas with regard to relationship marketing managing the customer database that means every aspect of the customer the age of the customer the income group of the customer how often the customer purchases a product what for he purchases a product and what comforts he enjoy using the product all these details plus some more personal details like date of birth of the customer marriage anniversary of the customers and quite a lot are recorded with regard to relationship marketing the sixth dimension is nothing but interdependency between marketing operations and personnel with regard to transaction marketing ad hoc customer satisfaction surveys are conducted to understand this aspect whereas in relationship marketing real time customer feedback system is a supportive aspect to study the interdependency between marketing operations and personnel the seventh dimension is role of interface interface is of no or limited strategic importance with regard to transaction marketing in the case of relationship marketing interface is of substantial strategic importance the interface between the two parties the buyers or the customers and the sellers is substantial strategic importance for the success of the business transactions according to relationship marketing the eighth dimension of difference between transaction marketing and relationship marketing is role of internal marketing internal marketing is very much concerned with the employees who are named as internal customers of a business organization in transaction marketing internal marketing is of no or limited importance to success because there is no proper integration between the activities of one another or between the different departments of an organization whereas when it comes to relationship marketing since it wants to integrate the work of all personnel who involve in serving the customers through various functional areas of a business enterprise definitely it plays a substantial strategic importance to the success of an organization in the case of relationship marketing thanks for watching this video i hope i have done my lecture on the topic transaction marketing versus relationship marketing up to your level of satisfaction i'll meet you in another video bye for now everyone